Hello, makers, and welcome back to Making with Miss Dobras. All right, we're going to go with the holiday decoration theme. And this is a little ornament that I just made with my daughters, and we put it on our tree. But you can use it for any kind of decoration. And I thought that we would come full circle and do a project with toilet paper rolls. Because one of our first projects when we started way back in August was with toilet paper rolls. And now we're coming to the end of our semester in December. And I figure we'll do another one with toilet paper rolls. All right. So let's get started. All right, the materials that you're gonna need for this project, of course, you're gonna need a toilet paper roll or a paper towel roll. You're gonna need some Elmer's glue, or if you have a hot glue gun, you can use that. You're gonna need some scissors, and then you're gonna need some kind of clips to hold it together while it dries. So there's, you could use these clips. You could use some clothespins. You can even use big paper clips. So you can be creative with that. And then finally, you're going to need a string so you can hang it. It could be string, yarn, whatever you want. And you're going to need some stuff to decorate with. And I didn't show you all the options, but you can have all different options. And if you have glitter, that's a fun one. But you can do whatever you want. All right, I decorated this with glitter, but not everyone has glitter. And so if you don't have glitter, I'm going to show you some other ways to decorate it too. Okay? Okay, first things first, you're going to need a toilet paper roll and you're going to flatten it down, okay? So you just flatten it down and then you're going to cut it in strips. And you can cut it whatever thickness you want. I'm going to cut it about that thick, but if you want to do it wider, you can do it whatever style that you want. But you should probably do them all about the same width if you want to make this star or flower ornament. All right, so here we go. We have these and you can bend them into any shape you want. I'm gonna keep them into this kind of like a petal shape because I'm going to make this. All right, so before you start gluing, you want to make your design. You wanna figure out how many you want to glue together, okay? And then when you're working with Elmer's glue, it can be very messy. So I like to use lids and you can pour some in there if that's helpful, or you could just be really careful, but it's usually a good idea to put something under your workspace so that if you get glue on it, then it's not a big deal. But of course we don't want to glue it to this plate. So that's going to be tricky. Um, the thing with Elmer's glue is it takes about 20 minutes to glue. So I'm going to open it up. And I'm gonna put a little bit of glue. Now the key thing is just a little bit, okay? If you get a lot of glue on there, it's not, it's just gonna take a lot longer to glue. And if you want, you can rub it around so you have a thin layer. And then, you're probably gonna get some sticky fingers in this one. And then you can either hold it together like this, or this is where the clips come in, all right? You can take, these are called binder clips, but you can glue it you can hold it right there and that way it'll glue it together like that. Now you have to be careful not to get any glue on the clip otherwise the clip will glue to your project and so you're gonna have to use the maker mindset. You might mess up a few times before you get it right but you want to try to use just a little bit of glue and then glue them together. All right so now I'm going to do the next one and this time I'm not going to smear it around with my fingers. I'm just going to use this because I didn't want to get sticky fingers. In fact, I challenge you to not make a mess if you can. I'm sure your mom or dad will appreciate it. Okay, now I'm using a different clip here. I'm using um, a clothespin. I'm trying to show you different ways that you can hold it together. And you're gonna to have to play around with it and tinker with it, right? All of these projects, we have to use the materials we have in our house. And so it's not being held together all the way there, so I'm gonna put another one on it, okay? And again, you don't wanna get any glue on your clothespins because it'll stick to your project. But you see where we're going here? So I'm gonna do one more and I'm gonna use a different clip. And you can use whatever strategies you want. Maybe you can come up with a better one. I think this one's going to be the hardest one. All right, this is starting to look kind of crazy, right? Now, also, I've seen this project done using a stapler or even tape. If you don't want to use glue because you don't want to make a mess, 
or you don't have glue, okay? So I'm gonna adjust it how I want it. So then once you get this going, you need to kind of let it dry. And so this project might take a while because we're gonna go all the way around, okay? Now, if you have a hot glue gun, this is a good time to use a hot glue gun. Always use a hot glue gun with an adult or a responsible older person because they're definitely hot and you can definitely get burned. So I always show you how to do the projects with just regular glue. You can also try to use a glue stick and I'm sure that that would work and you can do the same technique where you use clips to hold it together. All right, let's come back to it and let's see if it dried. So I'm gonna slowly and carefully take these off. Hopefully I didn't glue them to my project. And you don't have to use all these different kinds of clips. You can use whatever you want. The point of this project is to try to figure out how to do it with what you have at your house. All right, look at that. So it's glued together, right? And then you can just end there. You might want to take a string and tie it through here so that you can hang it somewhere. Or it's really fun to decorate it. So you can also shape it so it's a little bit more like the shape that you want. All right, I'm gonna give you some options for decorating it, but I bet you have some good ideas too. So if you wanna do glitter like this, uh, glitter can be really, really messy. So before you use glitter, always talk to your parents first and definitely have a plate or something underneath it to catch any of the glitter that doesn't get on. So when I do glitter, I like to put a little bit of glue into a lid, right? And then I take a paintbrush. So then I use this and then I just paint the glue on right here. And then I sprinkle the glitter on. Now I'm not gonna do it right now because I'm gonna show you a different way to decorate because uh, not everyone has glitter. But if you do have glitter, a good way to use it is with Elmer's glue, a paintbrush, you paint on the glue and then you sprinkle the glitter over your decoration. All right, but not everyone has glitter, so let's see what we can do. I had some leftover scrap paper right here, and so I cut up some little strips, okay? Now you can do any theme you want. If you're celebrating the holidays, if you wanna do a red and green theme, you can do that, or you can whatever colors you want. All right, so I'm gonna glue on, you can just glue on some paper. And it's easy and it looks good. So let's see what we can do. And this is where your creativity really comes in because you can use paint. If you have paint and paint brushes at home, you could paint yours or you could use markers on it. So as you can see, I just glued little colorful paper around the edges of my design. And I just used a glue stick and scraps of paper that I was gonna throw away. And then I put a little piece of yarn through it. Well, here's the fun part. If you don't wanna make this one, there's all kinds of designs you can make. And I want you to explore designs. And you don't just have to use these. You can cut these in half and you can glue them in all kinds of ways. I really want you to have fun with it. So I would say explore. So I'm gonna see what I can do with this one. I'm gonna use a glue stick on this one. I'm gonna put a little glue on the middle and I'm gonna slide it through like this, okay? You can make a little star like this. That's pretty cool. All right, so here's another one you can do and you can make a little star, and then you can put a string in it and hang it. Of course, you probably want to decorate it. All right, there, I decorated it. I haven't decorated the other side yet. I went with an Oakland A's theme on this one. Let's go, Oakland. Yeah, so whatever you do, have fun with it. Explore, and explore decorating too. When you're done, if you have a piece of string or yarn, you can loop it through one of the petals, and you get those ends to meet up right there, and you loop it around your finger, not too tight, so you have a little circle, and you stick those ends through it, and then you pull it tight, so you have a knot. And there you have it. You have an ornament or a decoration. 
So whether you choose to decorate with glitter or paint or markers or just little pieces of paper, have fun with it and be creative and use what you have in your home. Uh, I hope this brings a little happiness to your holidays to you. Be creative and resourceful. And of course, explore other ways to make ornaments. Don't just make this one, make all kinds of ornaments. See what you can do with just a toilet paper roll. It's amazing what you can do, honestly. All right, everyone, that's all for now. Happy holidays, everyone. Stay safe and keep on making.